Most of you guys have already seen Gamer Guppy's newest release, which has to do with ray casting and using boats for detection. But I'm here to tell you guys that not only can you use this to create awesome cars, cool guns, and throwable knives and whatnot, you can use this to do a whole lot more. And I'm going to be covering that in this short series. So before we can get into the actual, uh, before we can get into creating new things with this, and I will be making some releases that have to do with it, it's really important for you guys to understand the basics of how it works. So I have this short little panel that I created based off of his commands, and I took a couple and uh, copied them and whatnot, changed them up so that they made more sense so I can explain it to you a lot easier. Uh, but this is a quick tutorial on translational, uh, translational, movement, motion, translational motion. So if you don't know, translational motion is the movement by which a body moves from one position to another in space, which is pretty simple. Um, we, it's the same thing as if you shoot your arrow, you're, uh, it's, it's like if you shoot your arrow, the arrow is going to travel and that's translational motion. And, but except it doesn't have a rotation to it specifically. So this is just things moving in a straight line or you moving things in a straight line or maybe the character running along a pathway um, which is really simple so this is a really simple concept we're going to be moving on to rotational in the next video but it's important for you to know the basics um, so anyway I'm going to click this button and we're going to summon this boat so now 1.10 you can summon boats with two passengers and if you have already seen this video he goes over this pretty well but I'm going to be going over kind of more specifically what's happening and uh, kind of show you guys in detail what's going on and give you a quick tutorial on how it works so first off we have two passengers the boat is facing this way, and the boat is, yeah, the boat's facing this way, just if you didn't know. This is the first passenger, this is the back passenger, he's sitting in the back seat. So, there's two commands here. This one is going to move the boat fast. It's technically moving the boat backwards, but it's considered forwards, which is really strange, and I'll show you that, and I'll show you exactly why. Um, and the second one is moving the boat forward, which is also backwards. So, now I'm going to pull up this quick little Google Doc, and I'll have a link to it in the description. Okay, so here we have a quick little schematic, and uh, I'll be referring to this in later episodes, uh, and I'll probably make some more if you guys like this. Uh, but anyway, so this is a boat. The yellow squares represent a boat, and the yellow dot represents the boat's center. And the boat's center is what the game uses to move it around. So if I move, if the if I try and teleport our imaginary boat here, it would execute at the center of the boat and move the center of the boat to the block that you want it at. Uh, the passengers are slightly offset by about 0.2 blocks or so, and um, that's really crucial to the whole setup of this command. You're going to have the boat's center get teleported to one of the um, one of the passengers, so this boat, the center of the boat, is going to move over to where the passenger is, and then the game will update it because the passenger is in the boat. The game will update the passenger to move likewise forward. So this is going, this yellow dot is going to move 0.2 blocks this way, and the green dots are going to move 0.2 blocks that way. So in other sense in the game, here we have, uh, so this is the back passenger, he's going to move to the yellow dot, and they're going to move, the, the, well the boat right here in the center is going to move to the passenger. So this center is going to move to this guy, and then it's going to update and it's going to just put it here so the whole boat is here. So it's basically, that's how the boat moves, and I don't know if you guys really care, but that's exactly how it works. So that's what this command is doing. So it's executing at the back passenger, so it's executing right here, and it is teleporting the boat, C equals negative 1, radius equals 1. So it's teleporting the boat that is here to the back passenger, so it's moving it forward. So that's why when I activate this, it's going to move really fast this way. And uh, you can see it moves quickly that way because uh, the distance between the center of the boat, which is about right here, is about 2.2 blocks that way. So you can move this thing pretty fast. You can make it move even faster with some other mechanics that will be going on over later. Now to move the boat forward, which is actually backwards because this is the slower speed, um, you execute at the front passenger and you teleport the center of the boat to the front passenger. But as you can see, the center of the boat is not as far from the passenger, so it won't be moving as fast. And you'll see right here when I flick this, it won't be moving as fast. And I'll have these two commands in the description, but Right now, this is mainly just to get you guys into how to how to kind of generally work it. 
Um, this is how it generally works. We're going to be going over some other principles and whatnot uh, that will help you actually apply it. But right now, this is just kind of unconventional. You can just, this isn't really useful. Um, but once you get this part down, once you understand how these two commands work, you can use them to make some really cool stuff. So this is a little sneak peek. And, um, and I'll show you guys exactly what this does. If I activate this, hold on, let me do this. Let me kill this guy. Okay, so if I activate this, and I activate this at the same time, what will happen? It will shoot a bow in the direction I'm facing. So if I'm facing this way, check that out. It's going the perfect direction I'm facing, but it's up in the sky. So you may be wondering, oh, how is it up in the sky? Uh, well, it's up in the sky. It gets spawned up in the sky right where I am. So it's executing at me, and it's spawning about 16 blocks in the, excuse me, in the sky. And then this bottom one is executing at me, and it's teleporting the boat uh, to me, and then is also teleporting it backwards. If it doesn't teleport it backwards, then the passenger in the back is going to be facing the other direction and it won't go as fast. Um, so let me just, yeah, so that's pretty much how it works. Um, that's just a sneak peek for what we'll be doing in the future with this series. If you guys like it, um, we're going to be, uh, we're basically going to be creating really cool mechanics based on the direction the player is facing, and I'm going to be recreating some older stuff, and I'm also going to be creating something really cool. I'm going to go back to my old creations and make them a hundred times better with this. Um, just if you guys are wondering, one of them is going to be actual like ray casting, um, which is where a, it tracks the distance between you and a wall, and it generates the thing that you're looking at. So if I have blocks here and I'm facing here, it'll generate just the right amount. And it's an old 2D school, whatever, I'll go over it. It's an old school 2D method for 2D game creation. Um, but guys, I hope this video was useful to you. Um, I haven't been able to make any videos recently because I've been kind of working on a project and I'll have some videos on that project as well. Uh, but otherwise, that's pretty much all I have for today. I hope this helped you. And uh, if you're watching this in the future, there is probably already a video out on the rotational uh, rotational motion, and uh, you can go check that out right after this. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.